Well, this portion of the Mike K Show on 98.7 ESPN, not on 880 ESPN, is brought to you by Mercedes-Benz of White Plains, proud member of the Pepe Auto Group, the name you've trusted since 1968. And it's also time for Diamond Notes, brought to you by London Jewelers. And as I mentioned before the break, this is the 50th anniversary, this very day, that Tommy John had uh, the ligament replacement surgery performed by Dr. Frank Job. And uh, we said, wouldn't it be a great idea if we could talk to Tommy today? And that's what we're going to do right now. Tommy John joins us on the show. Tommy, it's Michael, Don, and Peter. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. That's uh, You guys aren't rabbits, are you? No, we're not at all. Is <laughs> <laughs> Does it talk me through exactly how it came to be that he said, "Okay, we're going to perform the surgery, Tommy"? Well, I'm pitching in 1974, and I'm going up against uh, Montreal, and it's the third inning, and um, they've got two men on base, and so I'm I'm in my stretch, and trying to get a double play and I throw a pitch and oh my god I had pain in my elbow that I've never had before so I you know being a, a boy genius I can just shake it out so I take my arm and I shake it I get the ball back and I throw again and right as I get ready to come through the ball just bloops up in the air, boom, and it hits the screen at Dodger Stadium. And now instead of having runners on first and second, they're on second and third. I call time, walk off the mound, Walt Austin comes, and I said, Walter, as I pass by him, I said, I've hurt my elbow. And I just went into our trainer, Bill Bueller, on the bench, and I said, Bill, get Dr. Joe. Something bad's happened. So we go up into the clubhouse and I change out of my wet clothes and um, uh, go into the trainer's room and oh my God, there's a crowd in there. And Dr. Job is, you know, he said, uh, why don't we just play with this? And then uh, you come to the office tomorrow at two o'clock and we'll go about it then okay so now you got to understand this was 1974 there were no mris no ct scans nothing like that so the only way they could tell something was torn in my elbow would be to hold my upper my humerus up to my upper body and then take the lower arm and open it up sideways and it's not supposed to go very much. And this did, and Dr. Job says, whoa, he says, I think you've done something. So many people in there, he said, look, come to my office tomorrow around two o'clock and we'll talk this thing out. I said, okay. So we go to his uh, office the next day and he said, I, I think you've torn the ligament in your elbow, all right? what are we going to do? He said, oh, well, the only thing we can do to get you back pitching is to operate. I said, okay. I wanted to pitch. I mean, I wanted to pitch in the worst way. And uh, I'm sitting here looking out the window waiting for the hurricane to strike. Uh, but we... Um, we got the thing done and he said, well, I think what we're going to do is uh, just rest it and see if it will, nature will heal. And if it does, then we don't have to do anything, you know, you, okay. Well, we did that and it didn't work. And he said, uh, I think I've got to operate, okay. I said, Dr. Job, how many of these have you done? And he said, well, none. <laughs> on a pitcher. He said, I've done a lot of ligament replacements on polio patients, but never one on a pitcher that makes his living throwing a baseball. Okay. So we have the surgery. 
today, 50 years ago. And um, I come back and rehab it. And I pitch and won another 164 games. So apparently what Dr. Job had in mind for me worked. And, um, you know. Uh, Tommy, why did, why, did he was, he, why did he call it Tommy John surgery? Why didn't he call it Dr. Frank Job surgery? Well, that's what Davey Lopes wanted to know. Davey said, it's not your surgery. And I said, I know it's not mine. It's his. And he would go out and talk to other orthopedics about the surgery. And he said, I just got tired of calling it the owner collateral ligament replacement with the palmaris longus tendon. <laughs> That's the name of the surgery. Right. That's the name of the surgery. And he said, I, I just, I, you know, the surgery I did on Tommy John. And the doctors would go, oh, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. And then he said, you know, Tommy John surgery. And boing, it stuck. Do you mind that so it's called Tommy it John on. surgery? Pardon? Do you mind that it's called Tommy John surgery? I would rather have it called Tommy John surgery than Michael K surgery. <laughs> I would rather that too. <laughs> Are you surprised that it's become done so much now some some parents are actually bringing young kids in prophylactically so that they could throw harder did you ever envision it becoming this and why are so many arms breaking down now tommy because just what you said you've got parents out there that want their kids to be stars and um you, you know yeah i i threw harder i guess but i threw harder because he fixed something that was torn and was hurting me. But uh, the surgery doesn't make you throw harder. The surgery just corrects a flaw. The flaw, the correcting of the flaw makes you throw harder. But parents think that, uh, you know, if you're a young kid and you want to be a stud and you throw harder, um, you know, but be that as it may. Tommy, do you know how much, if at all, the surgery has changed in the last 50 years? Still the same, as far as I yeah. know, except uh, um, they probably have robots now that do it or whatever. I don't know. So there have been over 2,400 Tommy John surgeries performed on the elbows of professional baseball players, which is amazing. And I've always said... You're the first one to have this, you know, this groundbreaking surgery. You yeah. also won 288 games. And I, maybe this right. is not a question for you, but for the people that vote on such things, why are you not in the Hall of Fame? I mean, you're such a big part of baseball history. Maybe because I voted for um, Donald Trump. You think that's it? I, I probably. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. You know, uh, if if I knew and I could do something, I would do it, but I can't. And, um, you know, it's Tommy John surgery. And my dad told me, he said, Tom, just go pitch as hard as you can go, as long as you can go. And remember one thing, whatever you do in baseball, you will only be Tommy John from Terre Haute, Indiana. And that's what I am. I'm Tommy John from Terre Haute, Indiana. Now I'm from Bradenton, Florida, but I don't pitch. If you did get in, Tommy, you know, you pitch for the Dodgers yeah. and you pitch for the Yankees amongst other teams, which one would you go in as? What, what, what team would you go in as? Well, I could do like Reggie Jackson or Dave Winfield and sell the hat that they, that they use, but I would go in as a Yankee. How was your relationship with Simply George Steinbrenner, because, Tommy? My relationship with George? Mm -hmm. Good. George was okay. He was paying the ass, but <laughs> but he, he was okay. And you mentioned that you um, 
you know, spent time, you know, in Florida, but you also spent a lot of time in New Jersey. And, uh, and you probably don't remember this, but you did help a young 18-year-old Don LaGreca at Ramapo College during a clinic. I was the only kid that had a beard, and uh, you helped me through. I never made it. I got cut from my college team, but it wasn't because of you or a tutelage. That was that was fun. Yes, it was probably... because of your beard, wasn't <laughs> it? I think it was because of my beard, but yes, I'll probably show the picture. <laughs> so in the clinic, Michael, it, we, it was inside, and they had these artificial mounds that we were pitching off of, and I got a chance to get uh, taught by Tommy John, and you got a picture at the end of it. So, yes, my show. I see it right <laughs> there, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> I ended up getting in the radio, but you know what? It was still a thrill, and I really appreciate that. That was eight, I was 18, so that was, that was a long, long time ago. Wow. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> you spent a lot of time, even after your career, I know you spent a lot of time in New Jersey, right? Well, I lived there. Yeah. And uh, because I played for the Yankees. Mm hmm. And when I pitched for the Dodgers, I lived in Orange County, uh, a city called Yorba Linda, the birthplace of uh, Richard Nixon. But anyway, you know, I, I lived where I played. And um, I was I was a New Yorker. Let me ask you, we're talking with Tommy John 50 years ago today. He had the famous surgery that's named after him. What do you think of baseball now where, you know, you had so, I think you had 124 complete games. I might be off a couple that pitchers, if they give you six innings, wow, what a great performance. And it's just a different game than when you played. What do you think of the game now? I don't know. I don't watch it. It's, it's not the game I played. Um, you know, like you said, a pitcher goes five innings, six innings. Oh my God. What a workhorse. Come on. No workhorse. Hmm. Hmm. How do you think you can stop this, though? I mean, how do you think you can stop all the... You can't. You can't? Why not? You... Because I don't run baseball. Right. Well, if you did, how would you stop it? Say a pitcher has to go um, at least seven innings before it's a game that can be posted as a W. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I mean, you, you've got these guys now that um, are running the game that they have their radar gun out there, you know, holding up. Oh, man, look at that. 98. Oh, he can pitch. He couldn't get me out, but he throws 98. Yeah, it's a completely different game than the one that that that, that you played for sure, Tommy. We're glad totally. you, we're glad that you could join us today. Fifty years, it, it, I'm sure it doesn't seem like that long to you. Uh, before we let you go, how how are you feeling these days? Um, mainly with my left hand. <laughs> now that it's fixed, yes. Uh, but anyway, hey, I want to let you guys know one thing. Uh, I'm proud to announce that uh, next year, in 2025, Nick Hagen is producing uh, a documentary about me. And it follows me through my Terre Haute roots growing up, playing Little League, Babe Ruth, American Legion, uh, signing with the Cleveland Indians, you know, all my career in uh, the major leagues, and then the surgery and um, follows my 26 year career. And it's it's going to be out in 2025. So everybody out there, be on the lookout. Good stuff, Tommy. Thank you. Continued health. Uh, I appreciate you coming on. Thanks, Tommy. You got it. Thanks, guys. That's Tommy John. 50 years ago today, really, baseball was changed. And, you know, Frank Job uh, was given a speech where Sandy Koufax was um, at the speech. And he actually apologized to Sandy Koufax. And he said, I'm sorry. If I had come up with this a couple of years earlier, you still would have pitched. Because Sandy ended up retiring at 31, 30 or 31, because his elbow was hurting so much he couldn't pitch. And that surgery would have allowed Sandy Koufax to pitch, I don't know, five, six, seven more years. And, I mean, who knows how the, the world of baseball would be different. Yeah. It would be Sandy Koufax surgery instead of Tommy John surgery. It is kind of a shame, though, that that's what he's best known for. I mean, 288 wins. Uh, he won 20 games three times. 
He was a four-time All-Star. He finished second in the Cy Young Award in 1978. Like So he had a hell of a career, Michael. Yes, he I mean, did. A borderline Hall of Famer. But really what he's remembered for is the surgery that's uh, his name and obviously 50 years later saving careers and it's become such a part of the vernacular of baseball. But it is kind of a shame that that's what he's remembered for and not for being and maybe not a Hall of Fame pitcher, but definitely at least a borderline Hall of Famer. No, I'm just interested to see what 45 thinks that, you know, Tommy actually voted for you 45. How do you feel? That's not true. Uh, well, I, do, I, do, I actually, I don't know how 45 feels. He probably feels great. But, Michael, just a quick question, doing some math here in my head. When roughly was Tommy John on the, on the uh, when was he on the ballot, potentially, to make the Hall of Fame? A long, long time ago. A long time ago. So, yeah, that, doesn't, you, that didn't make, that didn't really It doesn't make totally make sense, then, that the 2016 election would have impacted his prior It doesn't ballot. at all. all. Right, but some people... Don't want to give their leanings, and, and some are very proud. Some would just want to find ways to fit it in. <laughs> yeah. Now, here's another question I want to ask him. He doesn't currently watch baseball. Would he be more likely to watch it if instead of, say, a Michael K on commentary, what if they had Gutfeld or perhaps a Sean Hannity? All right, let's move on. 1 800 919 3776. We are going to, uh, <laughs> we, we have a lot to do, a lot to unpack. By the way, I have to play you um, a piece of audio. Of Don LaGreca on Hot 97 today. Yeah, can't wait for this. Ebros. Oh yeah, he was on with Ebros. Um, one quick thing about Tommy. Uh, his website is TommyJohn25.net, uh, and that's about all things Tommy John. And the Facebook group is Tommy John. Cooperstown. So there you have it. And his alternate website is Trump2024.com. <laughs> hey, remember when dealerships cared about their customers? Here at Baywood Tommy. 